Hello everybody, this is Dan or Crazy Bad Cuber. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the new Volk LE. So this is the Volk Power LE. There's a bit of a story behind this, so let me get you up to speed. So the Volk came out uh, about two years ago. I think it was two years ago on the 15th of August. So to commemorate the 5.55, they're only releasing 555 of this. Now guys, I know that sounds like a lot, like it doesn't sound like it's very limited edition, but trust me, with other puzzles like the original Volk, there were thousands of them made. Now the unboxing of this was really cool. Now they really went out with the packaging. On the front of the box here, you can see they have this metallic red, the Volk Power M. And then on the side, which is a sleeve actually, it says the Volk LE. But you gotta take the sleeve off in order to get to the puzzle. On the actual box itself, it says the Volk 3 Power M. It has a really nice, strong magnetic flap in the middle, and when you open it up, you get the red Volk unstickered in a diagonal formation that I've never seen in any other puzzle before. I mean, really, I've never seen one diagonally when I open it before. Once you take out the foam insert, you're immediately greeted with this uh, card, and the card has a picture of Matt's Volk, sort of like a cartoon character on there, which is pretty cool. Then we receive the stickers. Now the stickers are all different shades of purple. I'm not sure why purple, but that's what you get. And they all have signatures on them, except for one side. It just says the Volk Power M. Immediately after that, you're greeted with an accessories package. Opening the flap, you'll see a whole bunch of different websites and stuff you can find uh, information about Chi Mofangi at. Inside the accessories box is a card, and it has a greeting from uh, Matt's. So you can pause here and watch it if you'd like. You get another card that doesn't really have anything on it. You get another card that has a Q reader on it. You get another card that has another Q reader on it. Then you get a little booklet, and when you open it up, you get another Q reader. You also get a nice big The Volk Power sticker, which is awesome. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put this on, but I'm gonna find a good home for it. You also get a cleaning cloth. I'm not sure what for. Cubes don't really get that dirty, and the Volk signature is hardly visible on it, and I don't like the fold lines. You also get a standard set of stickers if you don't want to put the other ones on, but I would suggest putting the other ones on. This is a limited edition. This is not meant to be speed cube. This is meant to be a display piece. And taking the puzzle out of the plastic was also kind of a weird experience because you never really unpackage cubes these days that don't have stickers on them, let alone a red dominant cube. You never really see that. The last time we saw that was when the algorithmist was making force cubes. Do you guys remember that? Comment down below if you do. But as usual, I mean, it's a Volk Power M. It does corner cut really, really well. It reverse corner cuts awesome as well. It does move around really well, even though it is very dry. So I did end up adding a few drops of DNM 37, put one on my table by accident. This puzzle is just as good as any other Volk Power M. Uh, it's just a display piece. This is a, it's a celebration of Matt's Volk. He, I mean, he broke a world record. He was a world record holding solver. And, and I, to somebody who is a 13 second solver, I honestly, I'm amazed by that every time I see somebody break a world record because I cannot comprehend how people can actually see what they're doing while they're turning that fast when they have that, such high TPS. I can't understand. Do you guys remember when you first started cubing and you started watching YouTube videos and you saw people solving at unbelievable speeds and you're like how do they even see what they're doing it's a blur well i have people say that when they watch me solve but as a 13 second solver i watch world-class solvers solving like that and i'm even like how how is this possible that is a blur you cannot see what you're doing i just don't understand so it amazes me every single time correct me if i'm wrong but this is the first puzzle that has come out to celebrate a world record years after it was broken. Obviously, Matt Volk's record has been broken uh, since then, but this is a really cool puzzle. I was looking forward to this. Chi actually sent me this directly. Thanks again, Phil in the cubicle for setting that up. It's got some interesting stickers, so let's take a look at them. So on most faces, you will see that all of the stickers are signed on almost all the faces. The front face though, it only has Matt's Volk, it has a couple other people, and it has the LE. Now you can sticker this however you want. There's no like right or wrong way to sticker this puzzle because it doesn't have a traditional sticker scheme. You can do it however you want. I basically, personally, stickered it 
on preference on signatures. So for me, obviously this is gonna be the front facing one because it should have Matt's signature on the very front. Then on the bottom, I put the one that doesn't have any signatures and it just says the Volk Power M. Turning the cube around, it's all facing this way so it's readable. Um, you go here, then you go here, and then on top, I'm guessing, because I personally don't know how to write or read this language, so I'm guessing based on how it looks that this is the right way up. It could be this way, it could be that way, it could be this, but this, this to me looks the correct way. Do you guys have any idea if I put it on correctly or not? Are they actually all different colors? Because I, I think this color and this color are exactly the same. See, when we go up close and then I turn, it looks exactly the same to me. If it's not, it's extremely close. Like, I think that these two faces are exactly the same, which is why, one, it would be hard to speed solve. Two, it just color recognition would, would be very, very difficult. So in case you guys are wondering, this is still a 55.5 millimeter cube and it weighs 94.4 grams. Now, if you don't like the sign stickers and you also don't like the stock stickers that it comes with, you guys can get regular stickers in your color scheme to put on this red cube. If you go to the link at the top of the description to the product page, you can go down to the fitted stickers and just click on it and that'll bring you right to where you need to go in order to get them. So the original Volk Power M comes in at $38.99 and this one comes in at $39.99 and considering what you get for this, I think it's worth the dollar upgrade personally. I did get this for free, but honestly it's a cool cubing collection piece and if I didn't get it for free, I would buy one. But the puzzle moves great just like a regular Volk. I mean, you can't really complain about a Volk Power M. It is a really good cube. I'm not going to solve it in this video guys because Honestly, I, I kind of want to keep it in like mint condition, like the stickers and everything. So it's not something I'm going to speed solve. I'm going to solve it really slowly. I'm probably going to solve it once. I'm going to put it in the display case and then it's going to go on my shelf. Now the color of this cube that they are calling it is China Red. Now I know that Chi is from China because that's where it was sent from, so that makes sense. So I want to congratulate Matt's Volk on the achievement of working with Chi Yi, making a cube under his name, breaking a world record, and then having this made two years later, and from what Chi has also said on their Instagram page, they're also gonna go forward with Matt's for three more years. So congratulations to Matt's Volk. All right guys, so there's not much more I can actually say about this puzzle. Uh, you can see everything for yourself in this video. Uh, if you guys want one, I would act quickly though, depending on when you watch this video, uh, there may be some left, there may not be some left, but the link is at the very top of the description here. And you guys can actually get it a little bit cheaper if you use coupon code CRAZYBADCUBER at checkout. I want to thank again Phil Yu, especially at the cubicle, but their whole team as well for setting me up with Chi Yi and also thanking Chi Yi Mofangi for sending me this directly so I could get the video out as soon as possible. And I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on my next video.